Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to talk about disk partitions for a very simple reason. There's been you know, regular uh, questions on this over time. I've probably talked about it a long time ago but you know having a refresh is not a bad idea. So recently I did have that question pop up again is how much of disk space do you keep for Windows and is it okay to partition your hard drive and uh, how do you deal with that? Per personally, I do not partition mine because I have uh, everything that backs up automatically to OneDrive. So it doesn't really matter for me to have a partition that has files on it. But a lot of people actually like to do this, and it's actually a good idea to do so if you are on um, your computer. So you have your C drive. And your C drive is where the main things are on your computer. But you can actually partition when you install Windows. And what that means is that you can separate your hard drive, especially when you have a big drive, like here it's a one terabyte capacity. You can partition it into two, three, four drives if you want. Each partition acts as if it is a autonomous drive, even though it's one drive. And the advantage, you have to reinstall Windows, you want to reformat the main partition, you can just remove and wipe out the partition with Windows, keep the files on the other partitions that will be unaffected, and just reinstall Windows from scratch. So this, for that, is a good idea because it keeps your files and makes it easy to reinstall Windows whenever you want. Now the other question, and this one is one that I've seen a lot of people unfortunately do a big mistake, and it's how much space do you uh, keep in the main partition for Windows. Unfortunately, too many people decide, oh, well, 20 gigs or 30 gigabytes must be enough. And that's way too small. Windows expands over time. It takes more space as you use it over time. Plus, when you use it, it actually creates a uh, workspace on the hard drive. And that means that the file system, the page file system, that it requires takes space and then there's temporary files and all sorts of things happening. Unfortunately too many people have decided to keep a very small partition. I would not recommend a smaller than about 60 or 70 gigabytes of space for Windows and even bigger. If I would par partition this drive for example I'd probably leave at least 100 gigabytes for Windows and then partition the rest for files and um, you know storage. Um, because if you put it too small, you will be in some point where it's a big problem and Windows will actually have not enough space. And if you reinstall or if you have a big feature update that takes space also, it might also create more problems. So don't you know leave a lot of space for Windows uh, partition when you do partition your drives. Uh, and um, the more the better. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.